This movie will show how to create and format questions using the Edit menu in Respondus. Respondus integrates with many learning management systems, so the first step is to make sure that the system you use is selected from the pull-down list on the Start menu. This is the Edit menu in Respondus. This is where you create new questions or edit questions that are already in the file. The question types available to you are listed along the left side of the screen, and for each question type there is a template for entering your question wording. Let's use the multiple choice template to enter a question. First, enter the title for the question. The question wording is entered next. Now the answer choices and distractors are entered. Feedback can be entered for answer choices by selecting the Feedback checkbox. Notice that fields for entering feedback are now available for the answer choice and distractor fields. If you don't want to enter feedback, just deselect the feedback box. Now select the correct answer for the question from the pull-down list. The point value for the question is then entered here. At any time during the creation of a question, it's possible to preview the question by clicking the Preview button. The preview window shows how the question will look once it is published to your online course. To add the question we've just created to the question list at the bottom of the screen, click either Add to End of List button or the Insert into List button. The question has now been added to the end of the question list. To edit a question that already exists in a Respondus file, simply locate it within the question list and click on the blue title. The properties for this question are now displayed. From this window, you can modify the question, delete the question, move it elsewhere in the file, use the question as the basis for another question, or preview it. Let's modify this question. The question template is now displayed, and it is populated with the contents for the selected question. The question is now ready for editing. The toolbar on the Edit menu lets you add enhanced formatting, such as bold, italic, and underline, subscript, or superscript. Or you can add things like equations, images, and web links. Let's add a picture to this question. To insert an image or media file, position the cursor where you would like it to be inserted. Then, choose the Insert Picture or File option from the Edit Toolbar, which is represented by a camera icon. In this example, we're adding an image file, but you can just as easily add other types of files, such as audio or video files, by changing the file type at the bottom of this window. With the image file highlighted, click Open to select it. When an image is selected, Respondus allows you to enter alternate text, sometimes called alt text, which is used by screen reader applications. You can modify the alt text at this point or click OK to continue. Back in the editor, an image file will be represented with a pic tag. To see how this image will appear in the online test, simply click the preview button. Looks good! Let's return to the editor. You can also add equations to questions. The process for adding an equation is similar to how we just added the image. First, position your cursor at the location where you want the equation to appear. Then, select the equation editor from the toolbar. This is the equation editor. Let's enter the mathematical expression for speed. V, which represents speed, is equal to distance divided by time. When finished with the equation editor, simply close the window. A second window now appears asking for confirmation of the size of the equation. To accept the default size, choose OK. 
Let's preview this again to see how the equation appears within the question. Looks great. Okay, now we're back at the editor. Since those are all the changes for this question, I'll click the Save Changes button. That's it. The question has now been updated. Let's try one last thing. We'll start by selecting a different question. Let's say that we want to add a table to this question. First, click within the template field where you want the table to appear. Now select the Power Edit button from the toolbar. The Power Edit tool provides a much larger area for editing a question. It also includes many additional formatting options. Since we want to add a table to this question, position your cursor at the location where you want the table to appear, then click on the table icon, which opens the table editor. For this example, we'll create a simple table with two columns and four rows. Let's enter a short list of elements and symbols. When finished with the Power Edit window, you can close it by clicking the X in the top corner. Let's preview this question. There's the table that was just created. Okay, let's return to the editor to save these changes. We'll click Save Changes, and the question has now been saved to the question list. Well, that's a quick tour of the edit menu in Respondus. To learn more about other editing features, see the online help or the Respondus user guide.